Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to some more Battlestar Galactica Deadlock multiplayer action. We are going to be playing with our usual Colonial Fleet 4. If you want to take out a look at the loadout of my fleet, you can take a look here and uh, feel free to share your opinions, uh, positive or negative. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ready up, guys, and I believe that my uh, opponent is also ready here to fight. Let's see how it goes, and let's try to grab a victory here. We have one win, one loss. I had one win, er, one win earlier today when I was playing um, at my job at uh, Slytherin. Uh, we had a Twitch stream, and I managed to win that one. So I'm hoping that this fleet comes out on top once again. Of course, only time will tell. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. All right, here we go, guys. So we've got a nice little setup, um, and obviously uh, a lot of people have been mentioning the actual uh, Vipers here instead of me going into the control panel, just selecting the Vipers. I like going into the control panel, what can I say? But fair enough, you guys win. We'll do it this way. Um, we do have some torpedoes. I'm going to send some out just to see if the enemy knows what he's doing with his flak. Uh, I've noticed a lot of the newer players, uh, they don't really know like how to use the flak. I personally, I'm not very good at using the flak, to be honest with you. So we're going to be sending these guys forward. Let's go. I almost want to turn our defenses all the way up right now. Um, but I'll, I'll stop for now. I won't do that yet, but that's definitely something I'm considering. Come on, boys. So it's his first time. So I'm going to go ahead and fire the twerps. Of course, our marks are out. But I'm not going to feel safe until we get up close and personal to the enemy ship. I'll be lowering, of course, yes, this. Be increasing my minotaurs. Um, I guess altitude's not the right word uh, if you're in space. I'm not sure if altitude applies. Let's just say increasing the navigation. Um, I could also take some of these ships and try to defend. I've never really done this much, um, as you guys know, but I'm going to try it this time and just see what happens. Uh, so we'll defend the Jupiter with two of the Jupiters with our marks, and maybe we'll take this Viper Mark One squadron. And of course, it's a Mark One. We didn't upgrade all of our marks, or else we wouldn't have enough to actually play. All right, I would say we'd, we would have too much. Uh, but I'm going to cancel for that right now. I'm just going to get into range and then decide what to do. Come on, boys. All right, our torpedoes definitely hit the target. Come on, let me see some of those enemies. We see the Vipers. We see the Vipers. Now, of course, it's going to be Viper on Viper action. Uh, it's a Viper 2 squadron, so I'm obviously going to go ahead and take two Viper squadrons. Target one. I hope this works. Select a target. We're going to select that second Viper squad. No, this one. There we go. I'm getting angry at my own at my own uh, Viper Mark IIs. There's a, there's a few other squads here, but I'm not going to target them yet. I think if they decide to target uh, my other ships, then I'll turn on the flak and hope for the best. All right, so we're sending three squads after these guys. I mean, we can't complain and say that we didn't use enough. We definitely did everything we could here to try and stop the enemy. I'm even turning my Ranger here a little bit to the right um, to try and get the most shots out of this thing. So let's hope this works, guys. And let's go for it. Here we go, guys. Here we go. As you can see, since the last... Uh, up <coughs> Sorry, guys. Since the last update, um, the Vipers are not as strong. The the enemy Vipers, or just the Vipers in general, are not as strong. And I like that, because they were a little OP. You could basically use a Viper and take out an entire enemy fleet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fire my guided missiles at his adamant. So he's definitely playing... I mean, we already knew this because he was using his um, Vipers. But he's definitely playing as the humans, of course. Uh, for this guy, I'm going to go ahead and fire a torpedo at the adamant. And let's fire another torpedo at this ranger the ranger is actually what i'm most worried about and i hope that my vipers can take care of the enemy i think they can i think they can we could fire a nuke here and we'll fire the nuke at the ranger 
So we're, we're using up a lot of resources here and fire a torpedo at the adamant. Let's go for it. He's really doing a lot of changes here as well. I hope he's not going for a kamikaze attack. We've seen that happen before. And I didn't actually see this Jupiter-class battle star, and one of his nukes hit our ranger. So he's got nukes too. Man, talk about serious stuff. Um, let me select defend. I'm not sure if this is going to make a difference, but we're going to try to defend the Jupiter. And let's see what we can do over here. Can't do anything with this guy because... He is already dealing with the enemy ships, but we are about to crash if we don't do something. So, keep on moving. Oh, we're going to crash there too. All right, fair enough. Right now, he's in control of the field. There's no doubt about that. And he might be going for a kill shot here. But I want to kill that adamant, so I'm going to focus fire on the adamant. See if we can't just get massive amounts of damage. I mean, with that many nukes, it's going to be tough to, uh, to stand up to this guy, let's be honest. And he's still got that Jupiter-class battleship. Here we go, guys. That nuke is incoming. Come on, Vipers. Please kill the thing. Please kill it. Oh, one of the damn nukes went off again, killing another one of our ships. This guy's got a lot of nukes. He's taken just a ton of nukes for his uh, setup. And I'm hoping we can make him regret that. I don't know if we can, um, because he's doing pretty well right now. Okay. Okay, so our subsystems aren't damaged. He lost a ship as well. We're going to focus fire on the Jupiter class. But now, of course, we've just got two ships left. Well, three ships. Um, and I think every single one of them is going to have to target that Jupiter class that he's got. We're just going to have to rain hell on that thing. So let's go ahead. Focus fire on the Jupe. And focus fire on the Jupe over here, too. We could use... Um, Some different weapons. Maybe some marks. Let's go ahead. I actually took a little too long to do that move. And I'm hoping this is sufficient. Um, we are trying to hit him with everything we've got. But uh, we don't have a lot left. I hope he doesn't either. So let's go ahead. End the turn. Come on, guys. They're firing consistently at that Jupiter. I think he might be going for a kamikaze. Um, over here, we had a crash. And actually, it might have been just an explosion, definitely, from being shot at by his other Jupiter class. And yes, he is going, definitely going, for the kamikaze strike. Oh, you little bastard. He said he's a new player. He's a sneaky new player is what he is. Very sneaky. So we're going to try to unsneak his sneakiness and select this yes. Jupiter as the target. So we're going to send all of our marks at it. I want you guys to keep in mind, though, since the recent update, uh, the Viper Mark IIs and the Viper Mark Ones are a little less yes. powerful than they were before. Um, so we're not going to be doing nearly as much damage as this, as, at this thing as we'd like, uh, which definitely scares me. Now, we've got some Torps here, so I'm going to be going ahead and firing them into the Jupiter. But if we have any other missiles here, which we don't, uh, I was going to say we're going to save them, but we don't have missiles there. We just have the hope that we don't get crashed into. We've raised up. I think we may have stopped his attack. No, he's going to crash into our other Jupiter. Come on, shit! Oh, there we go. Both of them exploding at once. He definitely went for the kamikaze strike. Got to give it to him. That is a really, really awesome um, little attack he's doing there. Um, now, just got to wait for more torpedoes. And let's fire that guided missile at the Jupiter. And, of course, every single one of our marks has to go and hit the enemy. We could technically pull these guys back to our ship. And with this one, I am going to recall... Uh, but with most of them, I don't think we're going to have that opportunity. If we recall, we get some of the Jupiter back. Um, you're doing well. Okay, of course I can't not uh, share my channel. That would be madness. There we go. All right, so he's got some uh, fire-guided missiles as well. Or he's got some guided missiles <laughs> that he can fire. And actually, he's targeting the Artemis. Yes. Clever girl. All right, well, got to do something about this. So let's go ahead. We're definitely focused firing on the enemy. Um, I think I want to lower dramatically. I didn't realize how low he was. And we are actually going to increase our attack all the way. It's really our rear armor we have to worry about.
And I think our squadron, no, he's still building up. So our squadrons are not ready, but they are, a few of them are attacking the Jupiter already. I don't even know if he's seeing that. Right now our chat is not going through. Maybe they've uh, gotten rid of YouTube. <laughs> Uh, it's very possible. So there we go. Now, of course, we're up against him. We're firing everything with our adamant. You can see a tremendous amount of damage there. Uh, okay, let's turn a little bit more. And as you can see, it looks like all our marks are destroyed. So I think as they tried to return to the ship, he actually was firing at them. Yes, it's the only explanation I can get. And we'll, of course, focus fire, turn our attack all the way up. For attack once again and keep on working on this Jupiter guys I want this thing dead but I think he's gonna do everything he can to try and save it come on come on look at the heavy fire coming from our Artemis right now it's doing a lot of damage to his front but he's gonna turn to his side here and that may change things maybe we'll go for um, a kamikaze I'm not sure now I'm gonna lower our guy a little bit uh, I'm going to work my guy around him so we can get to the rear. But he's doing a very good job at switching sides with his ship. So I'm not really buying the noob thing, honestly. Now I'm a little uh, suspicious, to say the least. Uh, all right, guided missiles. Still loading. One turn. So we've got to try to survive. Here we go, guys. Oh, shit! We shot our own adamant full of missiles. My goodness. That's not what we wanted at all. Um, well, let's hope we're okay, but we just blasted the side of our ship with missiles. Very noobish thing to do here. I think fire control is offline. Yep, sure enough. Um, we're going to, of course, try to repair fire control. Um, and I'm going to see if I can't get some more of these torpedoes off. I think we need to wait a little bit. We're getting our ships awfully close, but at least we're continuing to fire on the enemy. Fire control is still online. Let's keep shooting at this thing. Come on, boys! He's doing very, very good. If he is a newbie, he is doing really good. Um, or I'm doing very bad. I definitely... That was a noob mistake with the torps. I'm going to turn this guy this way. Okay, one more turn before we can fire the torps. But we can definitely move this fellow. I really hope that he's going to repair soon, guys. Because we need this guy to fire his guided missiles. But obviously, with his fire control offline, there's not much he can do. I'm actually going to bring this back to zero attack. Um, in fact, we should actually probably bring it back to four defense, believe it or not. Come on. We need this kill. And now that our right side is quite badly damaged, that's not going to do us any favors, guys. We're going to have to be very lucky to get a win here, I think. I mean, if we can get fire control back online, that would be great. I'm going to go ahead and fire the torpedoes. And this time, we will not be firing at our own ship. I hope not, anyway. Look at those guns on top. Better be shooting. Come on, torpedoes. We got them, boys. We got them. Finally! Wow, that was amazing. We're absolutely going to view the replay, guys. I hope you guys enjoy a nice auto cam replay. And actually, somebody called this Battlestar Galactica porn uh, on our stream earlier. They were just like, this is so fun to watch for BSG fans that this is the equivalent of porn for Battlestar Galactica fans. Um, I love that initial attack there. He did some great stuff there for a first time player. And I would definitely face this guy again. I think, um, in all likelihood, we really should have lost there. Uh, we got someone luck somewhat lucky with the win. We were playing correctly there at the end. But just the way he was maneuvering those ships uh, so that they would take as little damage as possible, I have to give it to him. He knew exactly what he was doing. So I'm assuming he probably played campaign some. Um, we actually need to do some more of that. Usually, you guys can tell my, my style. 
You know, I, I basically show my broadsides, I start firing at the enemy with the broadsides, and hope for the best. Uh, one thing that I did forget about is he did use a lot of nukes here. I mean, every single one of his nukes hit the target, with one of them just destroying one of my Jupiter classes. But incredibly, we survived. This is another reason I don't suggest people go heavy on nukes. Um, it's primarily because, yeah, they're going to work at first, but then you're going to realize you've got nothing left to fire at your opponent. Um, maybe with one of the, I'm not sure if it's the Ranger class or uh, another class of ship, which allows you to take two munitions. Uh, I could see somebody taking two nukes on that, um, believe it or not, um, just to get like a really nice big splash of damage initially, but to put it on all your ships, that's scary. And there you go, that was his kamikaze into my ship. I've got to give it to him, that looked really awesome, it, it looked really beautiful, um, but thankfully did not win the game for him. But he definitely knew what he was doing here. Of course, now he started opening up. He definitely knew how to use his flat, but he was using it on the left side, not the right side. Uh, and this is where we really had him dead to rights, I think. Uh, at this point, it was just a ship-on-ship -ship battle. Very straightforward. And we managed to win, even though he took those uh, fire systems of our Minotaur offline. Really good shooting there. Here I think he was going for another Kamikaze, but we just missed... And that was my horrible mistake. Uh, just a barrage of torpedoes into an already badly damaged ship. Fixing their fire control. There's going to be a court-martial in store for that one, I can tell. there to try and stop anything we could shoot at him. The guy knew what he was doing, man. He really did. Um, the torpedoes there, though, they're invaluable. I mean, just look at how well they worked. And, of course, finishing him off and giving us the victory. Well, guys, you know what I say in all these videos. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. It really, really helps us um, to grow and to attract more viewers. Also, make sure to like and comment on the video. Both things improve those chances. Um, and it's really, really something I recommend uh, you do. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I hope to see you soon in another PvP battle on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock multiplayer.